Hi there boys and girls, we are here for the third episode of the Beta Roma, the save on FM23 Beta with Ace Roma in Italy. Of course, the first two episodes were uh, kind of summaries of the two uh, Twitch uh, streams that I did in the first two days after the beta release. Uh, so I thought that we need absolutely one video that is edited only for YouTube. So uh, keep close and don't forget to leave a like and press subscribe if you like this content because I will produce videos throughout the beta release and after the game will be the full game will be released 8th of november we will have at least two series in parallel that will go through and uh, it will be awesome because i really like the game it's the first one that i'm uh, really streaming and posting on youtube since the beginning we will have some very nice series similar to peasant to pope but uh, the quality of the videos i hope that will be a bit higher than what we provided in uh, fm22 Now, going to the match, we managed another two wins after the match with Sevilla. Uh, we managed to win against uh, Osasuna Pamplona 3-2 in uh, a friendly and then the first match of the season against Udinese in Serie A 3-1 with Tammy Abraham scoring two goals and Lorenzo Pellegrini uh, also one goal. It was a very nice game where our 4-2-2-2 really worked wonders and uh, let me show you the first goal of the game which was a very good team effort we are recovering the ball there Madi Camara but Pellegrini is the one and with a ball all over the defense and Tammy Abraham excellent positioning scores from one touch this was the first goal with Udinese we won 3-1 and we are about to play Inter in the next match in Serie A we have a very tough start of the season we're playing Juventus uh, Partenope which is Napoli after this we have a little bit easier match against Sampdoria and then we are playing Fiorentina at home uh, so until end of September there will be a lot of very difficult matches for us in Serie A Mistakes were made here. Clearly mistakes were made. A serious mistake was made. And uh, he's right, mistakes were made. And I'm frankly not happy about him. Real Madrid came for Brian Cristante and I accepted the offer. And now I'm pondering if buying Guido Rodriguez for one million more it's a good deal or not because we absolutely need a central midfielder I don't know if Guido Rodriguez is the one if I'm looking at the attributes he's better mentally better speed and better vision as well as better defending which kind of suits for the role that I have prepared for him which is defensive midfielder defend or even defensive midfielder support being one of the best players out there that you can find Guido Rodriguez there might be a couple more like Tion Kupmeiners from Atalanta but uh, I don't know if he wants to come because he is wanted by all of these clubs Manchester United, Bayern and Real Madrid I'm not sure if Roma can compete with Bayern or Real Madrid in buying new players. Of course there are other options, but these are pretty much the best ones out there that can really uh, fill in that place. Cup Miners younger, of course, Dutch. Very good attributes, very balanced overall. Maybe not as good as an aerial threat as uh, the other two. Well, Cristante was even better than Guido Rodriguez. Guido Rodriguez, uh, better heading, but jumping reach is even worse than Kupmeister. I don't mind that that much. He has great positioning, great teamwork. His mental, uh, it's very, very uh, balanced and very good. His physical is not that good, though. So I don't know what I will do. So we are about to start playing against Inter. You see this uh, 
very nice detail that we have here Juventus won against Verona and we are third in the league after just one match with three points we need to get a good result against Inter so that we avoid all of these teams that also have one win and three points taking over uh, of course it will not be a very easy match because uh, we have all of these good players, Barella, Lautaro, Martinez, Lukaku, Chalhanoglu and Milan Skriniar in the defense playing against us. Let's see what our uh, assistant manager is telling us. He's telling us to change uh, the two attackers and put Deudofeo as an advanced forward and Tammy Abraham as a deep lying forward. I would prefer not to do that. Uh, of course he's telling us to put Eduardo Bove instead of Madi Camara. I'm not entirely sure if this is the right way to do it. Gianluca Mancini uh, instead of Smalling and move Smalling here. Uh, let's see. Let's see really if Mancini is uh, fully fit for this match. As he, uh, no, he is not fully fit. Fitness still remains an issue. So I will add him to the bench, but I will not put him as a first team starter. Instead of Deulofe, I will go with Belotti while I will keep Madi Kamara here as a defensive midfielder. We will really need to uh, change uh, this position and kind of bring some more men there because uh, as you can see on the bench outside of Eduardo Bove who is really young and a little bit inexperienced uh, for me. I, we don't really have a lot of choices so we need to stick with Matic and hopefully uh, Jorginho Wijnaldum when he, once he is back so I'm not really very happy with the amount of squad depth that we have there in the middle of the park. We will need one or maybe two new players while in defense I'm kind of fine with the thought that we will not have another uh, world-class center defender even with the money that we got for Brian Cristante we will probably uh, try to avoid selling any more players and try to keep up uh, with the ones that we have and get the most out of them so we go with this team we don't have uh, a lot of bad feelings regarding this um, Gerard de Ulofeu is really impressed aroused about this uh, Rui Patricio and the others are feeling confident uh, so I'm really glad with the players responses to our tactic we are starting the match against Inter Serie A second game week. Inter are playing kind of defensive with three center backs, one defensive midfielder and two wing backs. Uh, we are playing our 4-2-2-2. Uh, we are here on uh, very nice graphics overall for Serie A even uh, uh, the, there, there is an improvement. There is an improvement for sure these two clubs are kind of licensed and you will see the real crest and real logo and um, the players are there so I'm pretty happy uh, with the way it is but we do see an improvement in the match engine if you ask me I'm really uh, happy with the way the match engine improvements are going now we see Inter in possession Brozovic back pass to De Vrij and they are starting to build from the back a long ball to Dumfries wins the header and now Barella advancing there Barella for Lukaku but Roger Ibanez is there now Gossens with a back pass to Acerbi Chalhanoglu for Gossens on the left side Gossens can bring in a cross again Chalhanoglu Lukaku in a block very good block there Lautaro for Skriniar Skriniar with a back pass for De Vrij. Now Brozovic for Acerbi. Acerbi to Gossens. Gossens for Lukaku. Lukaku and Lautaro now. Lautaro scores. We weren't able to keep him. Uh, we weren't able to mark the two strikers of Inter. Uh, they are saying that they caught us on the break. I don't know if it was necessarily a break. It was a very good pass from Gossens. They, they had the possession for a while. We are playing with a high line, so this kind of uh, gives them a little bit of advantage. Lukaku there for um, Lautaro Martinez. Lukaku is playing as a target forward and Lautaro Martinez as a pressing forward, uh, which is kind of new to me, but uh, it seems that, uh, that it works for them, you see. Uh, Madi Kamara wins there, the header, I guess, but there was nobody. And now Gossens with a long ball, but Rui Patricio 
So I think that we need to, to drop a little bit our defensive line because uh, otherwise it's uh, it's a really difficult. Now Belotti for Tammy Abraham. Tammy Abraham with a dribbling and scores. Tammy Abraham, great dribbling around the keeper. I really love this. Uh, very nice a dribbling around the keeper after a good pass from Belotti. Yeah, we see here a chair B with a. Yeah, and Belotti for Tammy Abraham goes around the keeper and scores. I think it was also a mistake by their keeper and a mistake, of course, by a Cherby who uh, just left the ball after a very nice stop. So we are going ahead with the game a few minutes until the break. I hope that we will go uh, in advantage or at least with a draw uh, for the halftime talk. They, they have a corner with Hakan Chalhanoglu and Devry with a header just above the post. Uh, we are really evenly matched, uh, only the two strikers and maybe they are saying that Acerbi also played well but I think he did a mistake for our goal, uh, except there are two strikers, their team is not really playing uh, very very well. So no big changes, they are bringing in Miktarian for uh, Nicolo Barella which I think it, it helps us because uh, Nicolo Barella was kind of a threat in the first half. Uh, we don't have... Uh, big bench that uh, we can we could make a lot of changes now Spinazzola on the left side Spinazzola can bring in a cross with a back pass to Matic Matic now changes the side to Karsdorp Karsdorp oh very good Karsdorp and oh what a miss what was that shot incredibly poor shot after very good dribblings and getting into the box very poor shot 67 minutes played not a lot of things happening in the second half maybe we need to make a couple of changes so we only made two changes in personnel there we brought in uh, Eduardo Bove for Madi Camara and we brought in uh, El Sharawi for Dybala Dybala didn't have a very good game they are bringing in Miktarian a little bit more offensive so I think that they will play a bit more offensive with Di Marco now, but Karstorp, great recovery, and now Andrea Belotti, Eduardo Bove, oh, for Pellegrini, Pellegrini was not, oh, Belotti with a bad tackle and a red card for Andrea Belotti, what was that from Belotti, cannot believe it, we need to make a change now, so we will keep there Tammy Abraham as a lone striker, but we will need to uh, bring our line a little bit lower to a mid block and go even cautious yes we don't want to be caught out we will keep Tommy Abraham there we will have a mid block but uh, Tommy will be there as an advance forward I don't think that we will have a lot of attacks until the end three minutes of stoppage time we are going 1-1 against Inter and I think that would be it right I hope so Handanovic uh, starts there Bastoni and now Di Marco, there is only one minute from the stoppage time, Di Marco with a long ball for Zeko, Zeko wins there, Brozovic for Zeko, Zeko for Dumfries on the right side, Dumfries, and Rui Patricio, what does he do there, oh my god, what a big chance for Inter, right there in the six yard box with Rui Patricio, almost making a bad choice, and now we are winning this header, and Karstorp, there, I don't think it will be a counter. Karsdorp by himself. <laughs> a back pass to Eduardo Bove. And now a long pass from Eduardo Bove to uh, Tami Abraham. El Sharawi for Matic. Matic now tries a long ball, but there is nobody there. Tami Abraham uh, does not have the same pace as uh, in the beginning of the match. And that's the match 1 1. We managed to get a draw out of this. Uh, very interesting match with a red card for Andrea Belotti in the 85th minute they scored first but we uh, managed to equalize after only five minutes through Tommy Abraham and we are still there 1-1 at Inter on Giuseppe Meazza very happy about the result overall so Nant wanted uh, 9.5 million for Pedro Chirivella who will be for us a backup in the center of the midfield here. Very good numbers, very good attributes. I really like the way uh, he is looking even technically good first touch, good technique, good passing overall. I think that I agree with uh, these Mendels and his um, physicals are of course not as good as 
when we are talking about cup miners and uh, the players that we already have like uh, Jorginho Wijnaldum uh, even at his 31 years old he, he will be a very good backup there because most probably we will need to loan out Eduardo Bove and we will have I feel it you know I feel like we will have a lot of injuries especially there in the middle of the park and also maybe there in the place of the two Trequartistas where you see the two advanced playmakers both of them we will have a lot of injuries so I want a lot of players hopefully we can get into with the registration if not we will need to make a couple of tweaks maybe loan out a couple of players and so on to continue after Europa League groups draw ladies and gentlemen let's be prepared to start the draw Roma are one of the biggest teams this is what the live reaction is uh, saying Abdullah Al Arabi can Roma live up to the hype? I'm not ready to go to go again, not after losing the final Rangers fan. Uh, so there are a lot of, uh, you know, live reaction. I like this draw. So uh, let's see uh, how it looks. Let's look uh, at all the teams. So we are in pot one. We are about to avoid Manchester United, Arsenal, Lazio, of course Lazio, uh, Rangers, Braga, Olympiacos and Feyenoord, but we can get some of the bigger teams like AC Monaco, Real San Sebastián, so Real Sociedad, uh, Real Betis Sevilla, Freiburg from uh, third pot and from fourth pot I think uh, the most difficult ones should be Fenerbahce and maybe FC Nantes, uh, why not, they can be very difficult Union Berlin uh, can be also very difficult from the third part. So let's see who we are about to get. I'm not really afraid of any uh, group, but there can be much uh, easier groups and uh, some of them that can be of, let's say, medium to high difficulty. Let's start the draw. Joachim Lowe is the ceremony host here. Uh, it looks uh, really nice. So. If I'm pressing here to start the draw, he will start uh, choosing teams, I guess. Yeah. Man United for Group A. Yeah, this is going quite slow, I think. In Group B, let's see who it will be. Lazio. Yeah, things are going quite slow. If I press advance, will it go directly to advance? Overview, so this is the overview here. And these are the live updates with all the gossip here. What what happens if I uh, if I just press advance? Ah, okay. Okay, I should press advance to choose the next one. Right? Fine ord in group F. I need to press it twice. So we are going to group H after Arsenal goes to group G and from second pot we avoid Ghent, we avoid Monaco who goes to our rivals Lazio and we are avoiding also PSV so we um, are avoiding a lot of the good teams. Partizan Belgrade is going with Braga in group D. Malmö is going with Rangers. Real San Sebastian and Victoria Plusion, we are avoiding them and we get quite a tough opponent in a Ren from a Ligue 1. Then going to a third pot, we are avoiding Bodo Glimt, who we know what happened in uh, last season against Roma. It was quite difficult to uh, handle Bodo Glimt. We are avoiding Real Betis and Union Berlin, so these are good... Uh, uh, good news, we are avoiding CFR Cluj, Cefere Cluj, yeah, Freiburg also, so we will have quite a uh, less uh, quality opponent, Maribor from Slovenia, who, let's say, uh, let's be real, they, they are uh, not as tough as Union Berlin might have been, or Freiburg, or even Real uh, Betis. Uh, let's go to pot 4, Slovan Bratislava, Fenerbahce goes to Lazio's group who is uh, turning out to be quite difficult and then Olympiagos has probably the worst group if we are looking at um, or, or Feyenoord with Real Sociedad and Freiburg can be the, the uh, most difficult groups or Olympiagos with PSV and Real. We are avoiding Sturmgratz and Nantes and that's what I wanted to hear that we are avoiding Nantes. 
Nant could be a very difficult opponent, but of course we had Ren, so uh, we we are avoiding Nant from from the start because we uh, got Ren from the second pot, so we couldn't get them. Uh, Union uh, from Belgium is going to Group E, and Maccabi Haifa from Israel is going to Group F, and then in Group G, uh, who will be the team? Let's see. Let's see because we are getting Austria Vienna and Trabzonspor goes to group G. So Ren, Austria Vienna and Maribor are the three teams that we are about to play. I'm pretty happy with the draw. Okay, let's advance. So these are the groups for Europa League. I, I like this graphic. It shows that uh, it's, it is an improvement. If you want to see if we got Coupe Miners or not or if we got some other player uh, no, don't forget to subscribe and keep close to this channel also follow me on Twitch because I will be streaming there also this save with Roma so you might find some news there but anyway follow the YouTube because more things will come here make sure you are subscribed thank you very much for watching see you next time